What's up, Cog Squad? Two dreams are gonna come true today. Mark my word. What is up, guys? Jason over here at Cog Hill Farm. It is a big day today on the farm because we're gonna get this fence up for this garden expansion, till up the new area, and start planting some plants. All right, so we took down the bottle tree. Smithers Cock Hill is gonna soak them in a little Clorox diluted water. The bottles were nasty. Then we, how are we gonna relocate it? So as y'all know, if not, get some of y'all caught up to speed. We are expanding our garden. It's gonna be pretty much twice the size that it is now which is roughly 35 by 35 or 40 by 40. We recently got two big loads of topsoil dumped here because this area was a little low and wet. Mrs. Cockhill came through with her tractor, spreaded all the topsoil out. Now the next thing is for us to get the fence pulled all the way around. We're just using your basic old uh, two by four inch square. I think that's what size that is. Doll kennel fencing or general purpose fencing, garden fencing, nothing fancy at all. All I really want to do is try to keep the chickens out. If you ever feel like you need to work out that upper body or your arms feel puny, then get you about 25, 30 posts and drive them in the ground. <laughs> think I'd ever 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 see this day so we got the fence in I'm happy about we went ahead and put our cattle panels in the garden because I'm going to use them instead of just walking all the way around with them we went ahead and put them in there but man I can't tell you how much bigger this garden is now holy cow I'm beyond stoked y'all a quick update on the garden they're my bellarosas and they are really <laughs> they're probably another double in size since the last video they were getting huge all the way down really looking good here are the red snappers who were really a little bit bigger or in my opinion a good bit bigger than the bellarosas but the bellarosas have actually in my opinion have caught up to the red snappers but I'm excited about those red snappers. Y'all remember in the last video how I showed y'all I was getting, I had that one bad leaf like this one still on there, but my other leaves were looking good on my okra. Still the same thing, but you can see the okra is really, really, and this is a true okra leaf, but you can see how great the okra is starting to look now. I mean, look at there. Really, really starting to get big on us. The Tachi tomato, which is the paste tomato, like aroma. They're looking pretty good. I'm going to have to stake that one up already. Look at this sun gold, y'all. I see a bud on it right there. That sun gold's huge. Now I want to show you that uh, me and my little buddy's squash right there is germinating away right there. And it looks like everything we planted is germinating pretty good boy that is a barrel full of bottles now i just got to put the tree somewhere we're thinking about maybe putting it in front of the new the new garden don't know yet we're gonna contemplate that we got plenty of places to put it we just got to find the right spot ain't that right pink Got it tealed up so hopefully tomorrow 
Rachel try to get it planted. So let's go and skip to tomorrow. The next day. All right, so it is the next day. We're fixing to get started in the garden. Let's get our plow and stuff out. And check this out. I officially got the garden shack of Cog Hill. This building has been many things. It's nothing's ever really turned out. It always ends up being just a hodgepodge of storage, but not anymore. It is the official garden shack of Cog Hill. All my stuff's in here. Everything that I use for the garden. It's all in here. Everything. Just whatever I use for the garden is now in my garden shack. So I cannot tell you how happy this makes me to be able to come to one spot, get something I need. It's all here. It's all organized. Who I've been needing this for a while. All right, we got to get both our horse plows. That way we can lay our drip irrigation down and get this garden started. Now, as always, we're going to use whatever organic fertilizer we have at the moment. I know if you follow our channel, you know that we find deals at the end of the growing season and just buy all of it. And one year we got this Joby all-purpose organic fertilizer. Then another year we got this Eco Scrap organic fertilizer. So I like to put this down when we plant. All these organic fertilizers are super slow. And what I mean by super slow is, like if you see that you have a nitrogen deficiency or a phosphorus deficiency or blossoming rot on your tomatoes and you want to add calcium, adding bone meal is not really going to help you out uh, because it's going to take so long to break down and then for your um, roots to absorb it. So this is not no instant fix. This is just something to condition your soil with. Make it better over the long haul. Nothing that's going to be wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Y'all know the routine. If you don't, we're going to dig a furrow first with our horse plow with this furrow attachment on it. You say it's inverted or it's to the inside. That's going to dig us a little trench. Then we're going to come back with this horse plow with the drip tape system on it. And you can see that now I got the tines the opposite direction. And so that'll cover up the ditch and bury our drip tape for us. So basically, today you can say two dreams have come true. I've been dreaming of a way bigger garden and I finally got it. Mary Carl's been dreaming of a flower garden and so she's finally gonna get that. If you want your kids to get involved in gardening, let them be a part of it. Um, I could use all this space for more vegetables, but she's been wanting a flower garden of her own for several years and we've tried it in different areas and nothing's ever worked because I just didn't have the space in the proper place to do it. I got it now, so I'm gonna sacrifice, you know, three or four rows just for flower. We could plant another row of melon. We there's so much stuff we could do, but she's been wanting that flower garden and she's so excited and she helps me out in this garden all the time because she's a part of it. I let her pick out where we're gonna plant stuff. I let her try to push the plow. You know, that's the thing is, is let your kids be a part of it. And so if you do have to sacrifice a couple of rows for something they wanna plant, so be it. There's no harm in it. And in the long run, you'll be better off and they'll be better off. We're fixing to plant our cantaloupes and our pole beans. Get them in the ground and then we're going to get started on that flower garden. The cantaloupes we're going to do two foot apart with three foot row spacing. But they're going to be on a trellis. Pole beans we're going to do three foot apart. And growing them on a trellis, so probably going to do them two foot row spacing. I'm packing them in there, but I want to get as much as I can in this garden. 
Next up is going to be the flower garden. We're going to start off with the cherry sunflowers. Travis at Hoss Tools wanted us to try these chocolate cherry sunflowers. So this is something we're super excited about. Of course, we had to Google it. And these things look way cool. I would go through all these flowers we got, but it's just so many. Then we also got this Southeast Wildflower Mix because that's the area we're in. We're in Central Alabama, Zone 8. We're probably gonna have one, two, three, at least four rows. We're gonna do them on double rows. So that'll be basically eight rows of flowers. That's gonna be a lot of flowers. All right, you ready? Let's plant them. So we pretty much got it planted and I'm still just walking down this long fence line is got me so happy. Y'all just don't know. This has been like a four year dream, if not longer, but it was well worth the wait. Well worth the wait. I did come in, Mrs. Cockhill requested some butternut squash. We had some left over from last year from Hoss Tools. And so I came through here and it was actually their butternut squash called the Hoss butternut squash. Planted it down through this last row. And now all we got left really are these tomato seedlings that um, we started inside. Y'all know how I start my seeds inside under my LED shop light. Those are ready to be planted. We're going to pull this lettuce up, harvest it because it's ready to go. We'll have this for lunch and dinner for the next few days. And we're going to plant a row of tomatoes right in here. Bad thing about these tomatoes is, is I totally forgot to label them. It's going to be kind of a guessing game as to what they are. I know it was some red snappers. I know it was some bellerosas. I had some fans of the channel send me some seeds. I planted some of those. All right, here are our tomatoes we started inside. And we're going to have a mess of tomatoes because that'll give us one, two, three, four rows of tomatoes. But that's what we love. That's what we love. I can't stress that enough. Y'all have heard me say it time and time again. Plant what you love. Don't plant something because it's cool or it's pretty or it's the end thing to do because you end up not eating it. Y'all look at him. Old girl been working. Look at him boot. Look at him boot. Let's get these maters in the ground. I'm, I'm tired, bitches. I'm tired. Can I, can I lay down there with you? Hmm. Hmm, lay down there with you. You make a good pillow. Yeah, you make a good one. Hmm. Yeah, you would. A good pillow. All right, got all the posts in. I come back and put my cattle panels up. And guys, I want y'all to know that anybody can garden. It's not rocket science. You don't have to follow the fads or the trends. You can do what's best for you. What kind of property you got, what kind of land you got, what kind of soil you got, what is easier for you. That's what you do. Ever since we made that change and started doing gardening that way, it has been night and day difference actually start to enjoy it so much now than i did before scott scott i'm trying to have a but i think a lot of times people get caught up and think that they don't do it this certain way in any other way is the wrong way of doing it and you just got to kind of get out of that there's more one way to skin a cat hello miss sunshine mm, mm. Mm -hmm. you ready to go work in the garden <laughs> yeah let's go hey guys if you happen to miss any garden video of ours check out this playlist right over here it's every garden video we've ever made and i put another video right over here thought you may like it as well and if you're interested in any cock hill farm gear like this peaches for president shirt check out that link right down below me and as always y'all be